Hi, this is Diane Love to Bake, and what we're going to make are honey cookies. So let's get started. I am going to use a stand-up mixer because this particular recipe uh, uses four and a half cups of flour, so you really do need a bit more power uh, when using uh, uh, a mixer rather than a hand mixer uh, for this recipe. The first thing that you're going to put in is one and a half cups of shortening. start to cream that. You're also going to be putting in two cups of brown sugar. Cream that together. And that was two cups. putting in two eggs. I've had them at room temperature. I'm going to put one at a time. Once I get that one uh, mixed in well, I'm going to add the second one. There we go. Raise my speed a little bit. And because they're called honey cookies, we're going to be putting in honey. And we're going to be using a half a cup of honey. spatula here to really try to get that all out. And let's beat that in. What I like about these cookies is when you bake them, your whole house smells of, of honey and cinnamon and really smells really good. The next thing we're going to do is putting in uh, a teaspoon of lemon extract. And that was lemon. And we're going to beat that in. Now once everything is creamed and smoothed together and well combined, start adding in our dry mixture, but I do want to show you what this looks like so far. And I'm just going to clean the sides of my bowl get to the bottom. And it'll look like this at this point. It's a real pretty um, honey color batter. Very light and caramel color. Okay. You're going to need, as I said earlier, four and a half cups of flour. So there, you know, there is quite a bit of flour in this in this recipe. So I'm going to just put a little in at a time and start beating that in slowly. You're going to be also putting in two teaspoons of baking soda. And that was two teaspoons. More flour in. And you're also going to be putting in two teaspoons of baking powder. So we put in two teaspoons of baking soda and two teaspoons of baking powder. Let's put in a little bit more flour. we're going to be putting in a teaspoon of salt. And we want to kind of beat that slow, otherwise the flour is going to go all over. And let's put a little bit, well, I think we'll put the rest of the flour in. And the last thing that you're going to be putting in is a teaspoon of cinnamon. And I'm 
going to raise up my speed a little bit just till everything comes together and it really starts to form a cookie dough ball. Okay. I'll show you what that looks like. I just want to clean my paddle off a little bit here. divide, and this is what the cookie dough looks like, you're going to divide it into two 12 inch logs. Now, what I like to do is just push it down into my bowl and then divide it in half. So I know that they're both about the same, same size. And then just take your clean hands and form a log. Round it out as best as you can. I really don't like to make these cookies so that they're perfectly round. I think they come out so much prettier when they almost look like a wedge that you're baking. But you've got, you want about 12 inches. You want to um, square off the ends and then just start rolling it in the wax paper and then just twist off on the ends and then put it in your refrigerator and it will take up about two hours for it to be in in the fridge and you'll have two of these okay so i'm going to pop that into my refrigerator and i'm going to pull out one that i have done The way and when it comes out of the refrigerator it will look like this and then just round it off a little bit roll it on your on your counter a little bit now you're going to need a cookie sheet or cookie tray and you don't have to grease it and then just unwrap your cookies And the log will look like this. And then just with a sharp knife, I usually cut them about a half inch thick, uh, but you can cut them down to a, a quarter inch. But do uh, put them at least, um, oh, I would say two inches apart, that type of thing, because they will spread uh, when you bake them. And just, just cut them off on the ends and lay them on your tray. Now you're going to bake them at 325 and these cookies are going to take you anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes so do start checking them uh, you know around that 10 or 11 minute mark because as we do know all ovens set up differently. So I have some baked, so I want to show you that. I just want to rinse my hands quickly. And this is how they're going to come out once they're baked out. They're going to come out a real beautiful brown. As I uh, mentioned, I don't like them to look too round. I really like this uh, sort of an oval wedge uh, shape but they come out really beautifully light brown on the bottom as well as the top and I'm going to break one open um, to show you they're crispy on the outside top and bottom and then when you do break them open they are very 
moist but very chewy. So it's a very chewy, I wouldn't even say soft center, the, I would actually uh, describe it as chewy because as you can see when I break it open, how, how uh, the way that it separates. So there you have it, honey cookies, a pretty quick and easy recipe to make. Give this one a try. If you like it, let me hear from you. Leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching and please subscribe.